Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you had a good Thursday. It's October 20th. I rolled my short position on CVY, short puts for credit. Um, bought more GME shares today and closed out some stuff for profit. Sub up, like up, comment down, happy money sticks around. We're gonna look at those things. You should look at my Twitter and follow me on there at Happy Money YT and our Discord server. You should join that too. Link for those are in the description. Um, Spy was rallying this morning pretty nicely, and then just just got weak. Broke some resistances and then just started dumping. Um, I should have closed my futures up here; they're profitable, but I'm not really planning on closing them until uh, I think this bear market rally is done. I don't even think it's really started. That being said, um, we have the bullish divergences here and here, and then also on the weekly. But on the daily here, we actually have a bearish divergence that has now been confirmed from yesterday. We've got a high here and a higher high over here. But then the RSI, this is a lower high than this one. So this is coming down, this is going up. Um, so one, one win for the bears on that TA, but uh, with the bullish MACD, with this other divergence, with this big engulfing candle. I'm still bullish on it. I was kind of expecting, if you watched yesterday's video, um, flat to red today and tomorrow on the market, as well as GME. Um, just being the first week of SLD and the options expiring uh, tomorrow. So after tomorrow, should free up a lot of capital. Market should be able to rip one way or the other. And that's oftentimes when we see GME have its rally is the week after options expiration, otherwise known as OPEX. Um, so I think it is still still bullish and where it closes end of the week on SPY, I'm not too sure, but uh, might, might be down a little bit from here. Um, thing is, it's such a big range. So for it to confirm a down move, we'd have to break down. I mean, I'd, I'd want to see it below at least 356. And by the time it's down there, my long positions are bad on the futures so should have gotten out of it to reposition but oh well um keep holding through uh be why today not a whole lot on that jimmy did have it was pretty flat today while spy dumped and while spy rallied actually spy had this huge rally and jimmy was just chilling and then about 11 15 he got a big volume spike and it started ripping and then got shut down. Um, it just, yeah, it seemed like a lot of pressure was building up because Spy was ripping and Jimmy was just chilling. I think it just released a little pressure there. A little valve release of uh, internalization or whatever, just buying pressure that's not being realized. Um, so I, th I think we're gonna, I think this is, we're gonna start seeing this next week more. Um, I did get more shares on this account and I also rolled over some positions. So actually today, Jimmy just touched the bottom of this wedge perfectly. Um, it's got about 30 minutes to close, so I guess it could come below it still. But at this point, it's basically wicked right down to the bottom of that uh, wedge. Uh, EVTL, the play I entered yesterday or two days ago? Two days ago. Uh, call credit spreads, which is a, I said debit spreads, I meant to say call credit spreads. The short position, I closed that out today, like 75% gains on it, um, which was nice. I guess I, I maybe could have played it differently, but I like credit spreads. And the 70% gain or whatever is plenty good. My Kodak, remember I wanted to get into Kodak yesterday or two days ago, but never got filled. I guess it kind of settled down a little bit. I ended up getting into it today, kind of at the high. Yeah, kind of like here. Um, but that's okay. I think it'll have a continued rally with the market. Uh, it has earnings in November. This chart looks pretty bullish to me. So, um, jump into that. Let me just show you guys the moves. Uh, I got bullish play on Netflix 320, 330. They had pretty good earnings. And I think we'll see an earnings continuation, especially if the market's rallying. The chart definitely looks bullish. And we have a big gap to fill up here. Gaps are typically filled. 333 is the top of that gap. I'm giving it a month to get up there. Um, it could happen sooner, might not happen at all, might happen later. 
not sure, but we've got green over the nine moving average, bullish MACD, uh, big volume from that earnings, of course, so uh, it's it's all looking good here. And then the Kodak play, I got $5 calls, and then my EVTL I closed for a nice little profit. Oh, and then today, is that today? Oh no, yesterday, remember I said I was opening up AMD, uh, has a high beta. Uh, I was up today, this thing actually moved quite a bit. It was up 50% at some point today. <laughs> uh, I'm not planning on closing it. I want that play to, I want to fully see this bear market rally. So I think that'll um, fill this gap at least 67 and I'm hopeful that we'll fill that 83 gap up there on AMD. Um, I have a lot of the indicators looking bullish on it to me. Um, and then, oh yeah. So my BBBY short puts, um, I'm having a roll. They're expiring tomorrow, but I just rolled them today. Uh, you can't always predict if a stock's gonna go up or down, but 100% certainty, a stock always goes to the right. So that's why I like theta farming, because when a stock goes to the right, you can make money just by letting it go to the right. As it goes to the right, you make money, and that's always a certainty. So that's where we sell premium and we're insurance providers basically for the stock market. Um, and let me show you. So here's my BBY put. Um, what's cool about this short puts, it works similar to shares into call credits or covered calls. Um, I kind of like it better, the short puts though. I feel like there's less risk. Um, yeah, I think there is less risk. Anyways, um, <clears throat> yeah, so this was a nine uh, short put. Basically, I sold puts at nine strike that were expiring tomorrow. Those are in the money, so if I left them, I would have um, those shares, 100 shares per contract for $9 a share on BBBY, which of course I don't want right now because BBBY is at $4.99. Um, so I rolled them, I bought to close those, and I sold to open uh, an eight strike put, and the expiration on these are January. So I'd roll it out to January to be able to receive a credit still. Um, I think I received, I think I got like $250 in credit, not a whole lot, um, but I was able to roll down a whole dollar. And uh, so yeah, that was basically the soonest time I could roll it down. Um, some of the strikes were like $8.50 and I could have rolled it down, but um, this I like this one the best. This, this actually covers earnings also. And then what it does also is it frees up capital. So before this play was tying up, you know, for one, one contract, at a nine strike, it's tying up $900 of, you know, my capital. So if I roll it down to an eight strike, then it's only tying up 800. So I have another $100 I can use. So I freed up like four grand or something by rolling this down $1 because I have 60 of these. Yeah, I've got 60 of them. So freed up quite a bit of capital, rolled it down. Now, basically my cost base on BBY will be $8. Um, if it rallies before January, which I think it probably will, um, I can roll it back to a closer date and up. So, uh, say if it fills this gap up here at 1150, uh, I could this this put will lose a lot of value, and I'll be able to close it and open up another one that's closer in time and higher strike. So that's kind of my plan with it at this point. Um, yeah, and then today I also opened. Uh, 24 and a half short put on GME just for tomorrow received 123 in credit for that this I was actually able to do this because of the capital I freed up from the BBY short puts so I opened up three of these and I still have the 25 short puts on here that expire tomorrow and then the shares I got on here yeah so basically tomorrow for all my uh, theta farming plays to work on GME I needed above 25 and a half um, because I do have this one put credit spread on here. It's 25 and a half But uh, yeah, it's not a big deal if it doesn't I will I'll roll this one over because I, I am bullish on GME for the next next week or so um, So yeah, November 4 30 calls these lost in value today, but that's okay and Yeah, not a whole lot else Hopefully uh, Market doesn't go too crazy down tomorrow. Bonds really are pulling down the market today, I think. Um, they're just getting wrecked. 
It does still look bearish. We've got kind of a bear flag here on the hourly. It's possible, I guess, it fills that gap. Um, yeah. Just got to hold through it. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on Discord. Peace out.